After nearly two years and 13 rounds of high-level consultations, Beijing and Washington once again say they're close to a deal. Despite the 24-hour news cycle and shifting headlines coming out of Washington, China's top diplomat to the U.S. believes the two sides will pull it off this time around. I believe that we will be able to make a mutually beneficial deal as long as we both show sincerity and reach out to each other on the basis of equality and mutual benefit. The Chinese ambassador made the remarks at the Harasses China meeting, a conference that has been called the World Economic Forum for Emerging Markets. Cui Tiankai also used the occasion to reject statements by hawkish Washington strategists who favor the decoupling of U.S.-China relations. This is neither rational nor realistic, because to decouple from China is to decouple from opportunities. It is to decouple from a hopeful and developing world. Echoing the Chinese ambassador were two Republican governors from so-called red states that voted for President Donald Trump in 2016. They said the tariff war has hit local farmers hard, and they want U.S.-China economic relations to be restored sooner rather than later. This tariff dispute that we've had has dramatically um, impacted South Dakota. Um, so we're seeing as a state and with the, their incomes um, less market opportunities, lower prices. Um, our farmers aren't cash flowing quite as well and uh, struggling and would love to finalize an agreement with China and get it across the finish line. The state of Nebraska is about half of all the U.S. beef mm. that is going to China. What we'd like to see is just uh, you know, a, a, a consistent growing marketplace right. to have opportunities for our farmers and ranchers to be yeah. able to sell our yeah. agricultural goods. Bringing together around 300 participants from U.S. and Chinese business and government communities was Frank Jorgen Richter, a former director of the Swiss-based World Economic Forum. Harassus is a think tank also based in Switzerland. Well, uh, they all hope, you know, that we will overcome these issues. Uh, the reason they are all here is to meet their American counterparts, to engage in joint ventures, uh, in joint investments, in technology exchange. Despite all these issues, I think business is going on, you know, on a company to company level. Chinese President Xi Jinping and U.S. President Donald Trump were supposed to announce a deal at the leaders' meeting of the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation Forum, better known as APAC, in San Diego, Chile. But Chile canceled the meeting. Despite the cancellation, statements from Beijing and Washington suggest the two sides are still aiming for a November signing. The White House said over the weekend that the U.S. and Chinese negotiators have made enormous progress towards finalizing a phase one agreement although the deal was not yet 100% complete. Wang Guan, CGTN, Las Vegas.